Today's tech tip is going to cover another popular and widely discussed subject, cam selection. There may not be another subject that's discussed or more accurately argued about than what cam should go on your bullet. Now earlier we discussed types of cams and the lifters they use, and we also showed you how to read a tech card and what that information means. Now time for the serious tech, what would be the best choice for any cam in a given application. To keep it simple, we'll be discussing old school two valve push rod V8 stuff. And the reason being, they accept the widest variety of camshafts, plus they're the most common and most affordable to work on. We can split the cam selection into three groups, street, drag racing, and endurance, and all of them can be of the hydraulic or solid variety. Street cams need to provide a broad power band, be easy on valve train parts, have long durability, and be economical. Typically for this setup, the budget is the limit and they could be either a flat tappet or a roller setup. As far as specs are concerned, the wider lobe separation is needed for smooth idle, somewhere between 112 and 118 degrees of lobe separation. The lift under 550 thousandths lift to keep things living and the duration is usually under 230 degrees to keep everything where it should be. Drag racing cams are designed to run in a specific operating range. Radical lobe designs push the limits of durability, whether it's a flat tappet or a roller setup. They can be mild to wild depending on the other associated parts and where the engine is designed to make power. Tighter lobe separations between 106 and 110 and lifts up to 900 thousandths or more and durations of over 280 degrees work with big flowing induction systems to maximize power output. Endurance engines need a balance of outright power and longevity, so the RPM range tends to be a little wider than a drag engine. They must be durable to run for longer periods of time, so most of them are a roller cam setup, but not always. Endurance engines encompass circle track, performance marine, aircraft, and road racing. The idea is to have a bulletproof valve train to run the duration of a long race at consistent RPM. The lobe steps are in the 108 to 114 range, where the lift is usually under 700 thousandths to make the valve springs live, and duration numbers are around the 270 degree range. Working with a professional engine builder or calling a cam help tech line will help you make a good decision on what cam to use in your project bullet. Just be prepared to answer a bunch of different questions truthfully.